Hey, hello, welcome back hello, to the channel. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How you doing, Mitchell? I'm okay. Can't complain today. Can't complain today. That's always a plus. Exactly. So in this video, we're going to give you one tip to help you remember information better, which I'm testing out with Mitchell in this video. So. Perfect. Let's get into it. I'm probably going to suck anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So we have four. Oh, wow. The faith. I have no faith, you know. Okay. Okay. Maybe after his methods, I have more faith in you, but our, we have four main objectives, though. We're mm -hmm. going to test your memory on four, on ten words, not four words. Okay. Show you why you remember what you did. Mm -hmm. Show you how to remember it lists, which is a lot of lists in med school and pharmacy school, and disease states. And show you how to apply this knowledge to your classes, like psychology, which I am actually doing now. That's really important, yes. It is, so let's get into it. So, Mitchell, without looking at the slides... <laughs> okay. I want you to memorize these 10 words in order. Okay. Hydrogen. Okay. Helium. Okay. Lithium. Okay. Berlilium. Okay. Boron. Okay. Carbon. Okay. Nitrogen. Okay. Oxygen. Okay. Fluoride. Okay. And neon. All right. What words did you remember? I mean, it was pretty easy because, like, they're the, they're the top layer of, of the periodic table. So. Do you remember them in order, though? I want to try. Okay, try. Uh, in order. Okay. Um, hydrogen, helium, beryllium, lithium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, uh, neon fluoride. I mean, you knew the words, so you almost you had to mix up in order, but you knew the words, so that's good. Good job there. So, for people who didn't know the, the things, we're going to figure out why you remember what you did. So, if you remember carbon and neon, that goes into the recency and primacy effect. You know of that, right, Mitchell? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, recency... You definitely, being, definitely know that, 100%. <laughs> which is why they say don't study for hours at a time, because you're at a dip where you're not remembering stuff. You may remember stuff in the beginning and the end. So... And if you remember the two Bs, so that was, what was the two Bs? Remember Brilliant and boron. Yeah, it's called grouping. What about the two Ns? Nitrogen and, oh my god, neon? Yeah, so you group them together. Uh, and the two Hs? Hydrogen and helium. Yeah, so grouping together really helps you, especially when you're remembering stuff. So the technique I was going to show you today is visualization. So, again... So how did you, how would I what I had to visualize. So like what I was doing is I was I was kind of doing that. I was kind of like visualizing where you were pointing and it was kind of like I, I was seeing the periodic table in my mind and I was kind of like highlighting in a way um, the, the places and I was just kind of like guessing if those were the first 10. So you kind of did it. But the but beryllium, shows... like beryllium, just like threw me off. So I was like repeating myself, really, 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 because like it was, it was not, you know what I mean? It's a weird one, yeah. Yeah. So like that, that one definitely threw me off. So I'll tell you a story, and we'll see if it helps you. Okay, you ready? Okay. So let's imagine you have a hydro, you know, a hydro flask, right? Yes. So imagine you have a hydro flask in your hand right They're now. They're really expensive. Yes, I have one. It's nice. <laughs> so imagine you have a hydro flask in your hand. Okay. Okay. And you have a helium balloon tied to it. You following? Okay. Yep, 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 yep. And your helium balloon's in the air, and someone's... There's lithium batteries getting thrown at your balloon. Okay. And you look to see where the lithium batteries are coming from. It comes from this beryllium barrel where someone's inside the barrel throwing batteries at your balloon. Okay? <laughs> yeah, right, right. You following? <laughs> yeah, kind okay. of. Beryllium barrel. I love that. Yeah. Okay. And next to that barrel is like a board, and rolling down that board is a big, big, big diamond, the biggest diamond you've ever seen in your life. Okay. Okay. So now you have a, and that diamond's rolling down, it lands in a car, like a Knight Rider's car. I forget what his actual name is, but I'm going to call him Knight Rider. And to his car. Okay. And now he's going to parallel park his car between two ox. 
You following? Yep. <laughs> okay. So he takes his car, he parallels parks between two ox, and he realizes that the ox's breath is really smell, so he takes out his fluoride toothpaste and he brushes her teeth, both their teeth. And he's like, okay, I think I'm done here. So he takes his toothbrush and he throws it across the way, and it lands under a big neon sign saying you did it. That's... And that's your story to remember. Yeah, that's yeah, that's perfect. Just making stuff like sound like really outlandish, crazy. You yeah, remember. yeah, because like, because you you will like completely remember this like crazy story. And and by the way, um, the the name of the Night Riders car it was called Kit. Is it Kit? K I T T. Yes. I knew it was something Night Rider. I'm like, it's Night Riders car. It goes with nitrogen. I must go with that. No. So like I can so I can literally make like crazy stories and then after I make these crazy stories if I go through like the the balloon and he's like in a barrel and there's a, there's a boar because boar and boron and then like there's a diamond so that's carbon and like I can literally just like Pitch cut out. some cut some words or like instead of just saying carbon I say diamond diamond carbon like you know there's this so I can just Okay, I, that's that's awesome. I could definitely use that. So this next slide will actually go against like go like teach you how to do it in like a sna test scenario. So okay, your topic is autosomal recessive diseases. There's three main ones. Okay. Okay. Sickle cell. So I'm, when I went through this myself in my psychology course I'm taking right now, I imagine holding a sickle in my hand. A sickle. A sickle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mostly miss, I know what the Z states are, so I'm not really worried about knowing what they are. I'm more worried about remembering what category they're in. So this is a way for me to group them together in one category. Right. Okay. And so sickle cell, there's a sickle in my hand, remember? A sickle. In mm -hmm. cystic fibrosis, you have a lot of mucus buildup, which is why you can't really breathe yep. too well. So yep. I'm imagining a lot of mucus on top of that sickle. Like it looks all gross and everything. <laughs> nasty, yeah, yeah. And, and okay. It's not really nasty pitch in your mind. Like, why am I holding right. it still? You know, it's, <laughs> it wasn't down your hand and everything. Right. And so, Tay-Sox is disease is actually like lipid, so like fat build up on it. So you're adding fat on top of the mucus on top of the sickle. Yeah. So like this, the sickle looks so gross now. It's mucus oozing down. There. I see like these fatty pockets all over it. So now I'm yep. thinking about autosomal recessive disease states. I'm thinking of that sickle with mucus and fat. And now I'm like, oh, a sickle cell recessive fibrosis and taste sacs. That's perfect. Thank goodness I already ate. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that, is, that is perfect. So yeah. this is an example of how I applied this this week, actually, on studying for psychology. So this is like a practical example for people watching this right now. Okay. I'm, I'm going to apply that. Since I'm studying for the there on the nursing on I'm sorry nursing I mean on the MCATs um there's a lot of uh, uh like long lists that you have to memorize and they're like completely annoying and I'm like how am I going to do this right okay I got it so I can use this yeah cause a lot of those questions on tests will be like which one of these does not belong in this c category it's like oh great <laughs> right so you have to figure out the one yeah. So I think that's it for this video, guys. Uh, just like, follow, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter. That's it, I think. Hey, everybody. Have a wonderful day. And please try to use this. I definitely will. And in a few videos, I will let you guys know how I did. If it worked, if it was useful, and the crazy stories that I've made up. <laughs> Be some crazy All right, ones. everyone. Have a great night. And see ya. Bye.